This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest three-minute forecast and temperatures out there this morning. We are a little bit mild out there. A lot of us are right now in the upper 40s, low 50s in the Metroplex, and this afternoon will actually be fairly nice. By lunchtime, a lot of us into the upper 50s and low to mid 60s, so pretty mild lunchtime if you plan on having any outdoor plans. Eventually by this afternoon, a lot of us will get into the 70s, closer to 80 in Weatherford today, so it will be fairly warm, and this will allow for that chance for some showers and storms tonight, which also could be severe, and you can take a look at the severe weather potential for tonight there is a slight risk for most of dfw this actually does include all four counties in the dfw metroplex that means denton county Collin, dallas and as well as tarrant counties are all included in a slight risk of severe weather that does include the potential for maybe some damaging winds large hail seems to be the main threat and then maybe an isolated tornado or two primarily east of route 75 let's take a look at that future radar because again we do have that chance for showers and storms tonight we will stay dry this morning this afternoon maybe an isolated passing shower to our east no severe weather nothing like that i won't even expect thunder this afternoon the cap will eventually weaken this evening which will allow for that chance for some showers and storms you can see right around seven these storms start to blow up in areas in DFW. So anywhere from about east of Weatherford in Tarrant County and all the way over to Dallas, a few storms will start to develop and you can see back out near the Red River. Cap will be much more weaker there and that will allow for more severe storms there. Eventually by 8 to 9 o'clock, storms start to really blow up here in DFW. That will allow for the chance again, I think of mainly large hail. That should be our main threat. Golf ball sized hail will be the primary threat out of the initial cells. Not everybody will see it, but maybe a chance for an isolated cell having golf ball sized hail. Eventually this will all move out to our east and maybe an isolated tornado threat somewhere in this region here I think is our best shot for maybe an isolated tornado which would likely just be brief so keep that in mind make sure you have a plan in place just in case something does occur tonight now obviously we will dry out going to tomorrow and we will stay dry as well on Wednesday I think an isolated chance for some showers or storms Thursday will also exist and that will be something to monitor as well maybe some severe weather there temperatures tomorrow morning will actually be a little bit colder than this morning and see a lot of us will be in the 40s across north Texas however the temperatures in the afternoon will not be terrible. I mean, we'll be pretty nice out there. Most of us will be in the mid 60s. Along the Red River, maybe a few upper 50s possible, but it should be a fairly nice day tomorrow. I think if you have any outdoor plants, definitely get outdoors. It will be sunny as well. Latest 70 forecast. Again, temperatures will actually skyrocket on Wednesday. I mean, we're going to get into the 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. Storms will have an existence on Thursday and a Friday. Severe weather, again, could not be ruled out of the question at this point. Eventually, going into Saturday and Sunday, we will dry out with mostly sunny conditions and temperatures in the 70s. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum contracting birdies pro turf and thd vehicle doorstep